Now LLMs can read documents with speed and accuracy. You are able to ingest this much amount of data and document parser from upstage is able to extract information in high speed and with accuracy and convert to these formats, text, HTML, and markdown. If you see the different types of documents, it can handle PDF, JPEG, BMP, document, Excel document, and PowerPoint. And if you want to compare how fast it can parse this document, the document parser is able to parse faster than any of its competitors, such as Azure AI, Llama Parse, Amazon, Textract, and Unstructured. Even if you provide more number of pages, it's able to keep the speed as higher rate compared to any other provider. In regards to its accuracy, you can see Upstage Document Parser is much better than its competitors, such as Amazon, Llama Pass, Unstructured, Google, and Azure. And this is based on these benchmarks, text and table structure recognition, table structure recognition, text and layout recognition, and at the bottom is average time. So you can see it's 3.79 seconds in average. So these are the metrics used to evaluate the model. The traditional metric fails to account for the hierarchical nature of tables, but TEDS and TEDS S measures the similarity between the predicted and ground truth tables by comparing both structural layout and content. Similarly, normalized indel distance evaluates how well a parser detects and serializes document elements according to human reading order. It can do layout categorization as you can see here in human reading order. Each layout is categorized with the different colors and also HTML extraction, like list, table, heading. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can run the document parsing benchmark, that is DP Bench, by yourself, so you can verify the result. And also, I'm going to show you how you can integrate this with your own application. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Thanks to Upstage AI for sponsoring this video. So here is their playground from console.upstage.ai where I'm going to choose a file and it's going to clearly identify the different elements from the page. It extracted even the data from the image, properly categorized in the correct human reading order as you can see here. So it uses these old tags to tag the HTML and for equation, it is able to see an image like this and convert to latex format. That is the most compatible format for writing formulas. Also it's able to give us the coordinates, which means you're able to draw the bounding box, the location of the table or image or the portion of text. Upstage also have released document parsing benchmark, which focused on element detection, element serialization, and table structure recognition. And they've provided all the scripts and data sets they use for testing. So I'm going to clone this repo locally. So in your terminal, git clone and the repo URL and then click enter. Next, navigate to the repo URL. Inside that, the key folders are scripts folder and the dataset folder. The dataset folder contains all the PDFs to run the benchmark, and the scripts contains all the required scripts. So if I navigate to the scripts folder, there you can see for AWS, Google, Llama Pass, Upstage, Microsoft, and Unstructured. So first, I'll show you how you can run Llama Pass. To do that, pip install markdown request beautiful soup and then click enter next export llama pass get url that is this url then llama pass post url then llama pass api key and then click enter next in your terminal python info llama pass then path where the pdfs are located then save path this is the file where we are going to save the output that is the parse data after this click enter now you can see it's parsing one by one, processing the document, the first one. Now this might take some time, so I'm going to leave it running. Now it's all done, but with four file errors. So we can work with what has worked. So totally 200 files processed, and the results got stored in llamapass.json. Next, let's do upstage document parser. For that, I'm going to export upstage endpoint and also exporting upstage API key like this, and then click enter. You can generate the key from console.upstage.ai. After this, I'm going to type python infer upstage.py, the data path, that is a PDFs folder, and going to save that in upstage.json. After this, click enter. Now you can see it started processing the request, and this is much more faster than what I experienced with llama pass. 
because this is much quicker. In seconds, it's able to pass these documents. But for Llama Pass, it took few seconds. Now processing of all the documents is completed with zero errors. This is super cool. Next, if you want to evaluate, go to the previous folder. That's where you got the evaluate.py file. So what I'm going to do is, already the sample results for Upstage and Llama Pass files are here. So I can even directly run this to check the results. So to test that, Python evaluate the reference path, that's the reference.json and the prediction path dataset. That's where all the past data is stored. So I'm going to choose that and click enter. Now you can see the NID score, that is 0.96. So at the same time, I'm going to run Llama Pass and here is the score, 0.92. So 0.96 is higher than 0.92. You can clearly see that upstage document parse is much better than Llama parse. Next, I'm going to show you how you can integrate this document parse in your own application. So I'm going to provide a complicated PDF document. As you can see here, it contains images, tables, data, and much more. So we are going to parse this complex document. So in your terminal, export your upstage API key, which you got from the console.upstage.ai. After that, click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, first import request OS and I'm going to import print from rich to print it in a clear format. That is optional. Next, I'm getting the API key, getting the file name, docs.pdf, that's where I've stored the PDF, then passing the URL and the header information. Next, request.post to this URL and getting the response. So just a few lines of code and you are able to parse any complicated document. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the response with every section, with coordinates, ID, page number, mentioning if it's a list or a paragraph in a clear format, as you can see here. This is super cool. You can test this in the playground. You can integrate this in your application and you can deploy in your own infrastructure and everything is available here. I'm really excited about this. Considering you already like this document parsing, there are still loads of things to learn about how a large language model is able to analyze images, which I have already covered, and I will link that here. So do click that, and I will see you there.